Well, we've been asked to demonstrate how we went about building this title block that you see on the right hand side. It's got, it's a simple title block. It's just got the client name, address, and some scale and drawn and checked information, and then a series of photographs or images illustrating some design concepts that are going to be used in the design. But this is a block. A block is a separate drawing in GCAD Plus, and you just insert this into other drawings, preferably in layout space, when you want to put a block such as this, a title block such as this, to illustrate a particular design, and you want to use it over and over again. So how do we create that block? Well, we'll start the line command, and I've made my drawing color red and given it a th quite a thickness so you can see what's going on. But it's, it's good practice to start when you make a block that's going to be used like this, to start at a known coordinate. You don't have to. 0, comma, 0. That anchors the what will be the block down at the left-hand corner. So it means when we bring this block into other drawings, it'll be anchored at that point we've just nominated. Now I've, I've got a measurement there. Let me just zoom in and pan up a little. We can see that the width of this title block is in fact 150. So I can use the AutoCAD uh, notation here and use the at sign at 150. And we're going to go across to the right, which is an angle zero. So that puts our first line in. And let me look, it's 540 high. So I shall pan down and the next, next point is at 540, and the angle, of course, is 90. We work 0 to the right, 90 straight up, 180 and 270. So it's 90, and hit Enter. In it goes. You could just put ortho on and point in the direction we're going on. In my case, I've got polar on, so I'm just pointing in the direction that I want. And uh, <clears throat> I need to refresh my memory as to that distance that we first typed, which was 150. So let's come back here. I've got polar on, so I can go um, at 150, the distance angle of 180. And as I said, you could just click and it would go in correctly. Now that I've got the first line in in red down there, I could say my next point could simply be I could snap to the end of an existing line. So there we have the outline of the title block. Now you'll notice that the dimension holding uh, an image there is 90 millimeters down. So I can say modify offset, pick that top line, right click, pick through point, right click distance again, and just type 90 and OK and then enter to indicate the side. The next offset is 20, so I can right click, pick the through point again, pick the distance again, and type in 20, and OK. And indicate the object to offset is that one there. So we're working our way, in this case in red, over the top. So given a series of dimensions, and you notice that all the dimensions are whole numbers, 75, 540, 18, 30, 20, and so on. And I can work my way down using the offset commands. The next thing I've done is to set a, uh, a text style. So I'll go format, text style, and I've got one called KG Jupiter. It's a hand lettered font. And I'll cancel from there. It's set and it's current. So I can just type in whatever text I want in the title block. And this one happens to say text 1 to 100 at A1. I, could, I prefer using A2. So I'll change that text there. So I'm intending to use this title block on an A2 sheet. But I can use it on other sheets by simply editing the block and changing that number or exploding the block and make a permanent change, whatever I want. I've been asked to demonstrate that alternative way of entering distances. So let's use the L shortcut. And we do need to start in this instance at 0, comma, 0. So there's our start coordinate. And just move in the direction that we want to go in 
and make sure that either polar or ortho is on and provided the line is horizontal we can type the um, 150 which is the distance in this case in millimeters that we want to go and again provided we're pointing in the correct distance we can just type 540 we now have a grid system for the photos and images are put in by a draw and raster image up pops the image manager and let's imagine we want to put in that bowl for an outdoor fire place setting and we're going to use that in the design we can simply click insert and i'll scroll in a little we now have our square we can use let me just float the snap toolbar across we can pick end point and snap the bottom of our image there and then move it up we want to cover that area like so so we can do that so in goes that image let's put another image over on the right hand side if we want to adjust the image we can we can just move it across and crop it that's going to distort the image somewhat but i think it's quite acceptable in this instance to do it in that way let's put another image in raster image and we've got uh, well, some crazy paving so we will insert that and again we'll pick up this time an intersection there and drag that one up and it goes in position you might find and let's see if we can manage it you might find uh, that one image is on top of the other or under the other and you don't like the effect I think we've got one example of it here on the right see how that image there extends because it was landscape view extends across so all we've done is taken this image and said tools and draw order bring it to the front and so it will overlay this particular image so you've got a grid to play with there's no reason why you couldn't put it uh, over four panels you could put an image so we could say draw raster image let's pick some other image i want a wider image if i can this one will do and we can insert that one again we'll pick intersect we'll come down and we'll put it over four panels like so pick the image bring it in and line it up and if we wanted to we could put another image directly on top of that let's do it draw insert raster image spotted gum bench sphere culture i want to see one we've got in this one we'll do insert okay and so this could come in at that point there and just do that so we've got we can still see our gabion wall uh, but we put our other image here i'd probably be inclined to drag that one down a little i want to make it i want to be able to see that line that runs across so i can pick that line and say tools draw order and bring it to the front and it's a, a dark line if i change my background to a black color you'll be able to see that white line very easily and i'll drag down and square things off so you can see i'm laying out a series of image using my grid at the uh, at the back as a guide i can bring this line also to the front so in that way provided we have a, a title block set up with our logo and all of this other text information we, we, we would not bother bringing photographs in as we insert the block we'll edit the block later 